how to use ChatGPT web browsing using Harpa AI. Now that's what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy video because it's actually super easy to do. And yeah, so basically um, I have searched for Harpa, Harpa AI right over here. So when I click on it, um, this will open up and here you have a big add to Chrome button. Now before we actually, uh, actually install this, um, I want to give a brief explanation. So here you have Google Chrome, Brave Browser, and um, Opera browser. So you can use this in uh, all of all three of them. And here you have a brief explanation. So get more done on the web. So AI assisted search. And here is a explanation how that will look like Buy when price drops. So you can monitor, uh, for example, Amazon products or AliExpress products or whatever you want. Uh, page aware GPT prompt. So use one of 100 plus page aware commands for marketing, SEO, copywriting, HR, engineering, etc. They also track competitors, uh, which is nice. AI writer on any website, which is also pretty, pretty nice. And summarize YouTube videos. So extract key takeaways from hours long, hour long YouTube videos with the help of generative AI. So it's actually pretty nice as well. If you have, for example, your own YouTube channel like I have, and you want to turn your YouTube videos into a quick blog type of format. Um, so that's also really nice. And then um, uh, ChatGPT Assistant 4, so all of this, but you probably already know this. And then um, here you can actually uh, use this all on and even more, which is nice. Now, um, also over here, you have a couple of guides. So you're getting started on how to do this, for example, for the YouTube summaries, even they've even made a video, which is uh, pretty cool. And they'll also explain everything on here. So if you don't know every single thing, then um, you can check that out as well over the, on their website. So over here, you want to click on the big add to Chrome button. And this will bring you over to the Chrome web store. It has over 100,000 users. And here there's also another overview of everything it can do. But basically, you want to add this to Chrome. Click on there and add the extension. And now that we have done that, it will automatically open up right here, which is cool. Now I'm going to close this all out. I what I recommend doing is click on this puzzle icon and um, pin this to uh, Chrome. So now every time I click on it, this will open up. Well, you can also uh, open it up with Alt A, I believe. Yeah, it does. Um, but if you don't like that or you forget that, then you can actually click on here as well. Now, if you click on there in a new tab where nothing is opened. It will actually open up the full on Harpa dashboard, uh, which is also handy to use. Here you have uh, also a couple of different settings as well. But now how to actually use ChatGPT for web browsing. Now it's actually super easy to do. Search for any term you want to search for. For this tutorial, I'm just going to search very simple for YouTube. Now click on the um, AI, uh, Arpa AI, and it will automatically put my search term in here and it will give me an explanation so in this case it's about youtube well this is just very basic um and broad because i just search for youtube and not a specific term for example but basically over here at the bottom you have a couple of different options so if the page aware option and the basic mode so harpa automatically sends relevant page content with prompts allows you to talk to page or pdf or the basic mode, Harpa does not inject page context and is not aware of the open page content, same as ChatGPT. So if you want a more aware ChatGPT for pages, then you should use the page aware uh, tool, which is actually automatically toggled on. You can also grab any text from the page or just send the full text from the full page immediately to ChatGPT. Now over here, you have these three dots and these are really nice. So here we have a couple of different options and with a question mark where it briefly explains what it does. So um, for example, page selection, the text selected on the page, uh, page description, page title and short description. Now the YouTube transcript over here is now grayed out as you can see. Uh, that is because we are currently not on a YouTube page. Now if we were to click on YouTube and for example, search for uh, this video over here, then select any video you would like. Then we can actually go ahead and um, open this up. 
And as you can see, user transcript is now not grayed out anymore. So we can actually do this and we can, for example, click on enter and it will just do something random. But we can also have uh, give it a command. So, for example, summarize all the steps in this video and then hit enter and it will start writing it for me and summarizing all of the steps in this video, which is very helpful. Now, um, now that this is going on in the background, we can actually search for something else. So, for example, how to make a TikTok filter. Then we can also click on here and it will give me an answer as well. Now, let's just go back over here and you can actually see that it gave me a step by step um, explanation about this video, which is really nice. Now we can, for example, uh, paste to page or copy this to the clipboard as well. Now over here, um, back to this one, it gave us a click, uh, a brief explanation. So now we can actually start asking more questions. It says over here, you can use the effect house platform. So we can, for example, ask, how can I use effect house? And then it will also give me a better explanation how I could, for example, use this. And um, here it will give me like visit the effect house website. So there is a link and then, um, it says, once you're logged in, you'll be directed to the effective platform, blah, blah, blah. So you can just follow along and do every single step and create actually a TikTok filter. So that is really cool. That's how you can use ChatGPT as a web browser. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did. And then I will see you next time.